I freaking love the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining why I will forever defend this movie, even when I am 95 years old on my deathbed. So, um, the movie's out, as you all know. Um, this video will contain spoilers, so if you have not seen the movie yet, I would highly recommend that you leave and not come back until you have watched the movie. Unless you want it to be spoiled, which I would imagine you would not want it to be spoiled unless you want to listen to the critics who are saying this movie is terrible and some of the fans saying this movie is terrible, which I don't understand why they are saying it's terrible. I mean, I guess I could understand if you're not a longtime FNAF fan. Um, if you're just like going into this expecting like a big horror movie with a bunch of blood and gore, you could probably be disappointed. But... If you're a longtime FNAF fan, like me, um, I've liked FNAF since uh, 2014, and this was basically, it, it felt like, it felt like a hole in my childhood that had been filled. Like, I've been waiting for this movie since 2015, and this movie was first announced all the way back in 2015, and I've been waiting for this movie ever since, and it, it, it left a hole in my childhood that I never got to fill, and seeing this movie finally, it, it filled that hole. Watching this movie, I was so happy. I felt like a kid again. Um, I had never felt this happy in so long. And the theater experience was amazing. Um, I wore this purple suit there for Raina William Afton. And all these people um, wanted to take pictures with me. It was, it was amazing. And the movie I thought was just awesome. I mean, yeah, I know there's not a bunch of blood and gore and all this crazy horror. But... What people seem to forget to realize is that the games didn't have really much gore either. In fact, this movie had a lot more gore than the games. Can you tell me a time in the games where we got to see someone get chomped in half by an animatronic? And you cannot say the Bite of 83 minigame because that was pixels. And you can't say the spring lock scene in the Five Nights at Freddy's 3, I mean, 3 game because, once again, that was pixels. Almost any sort of blood and gore we see in FNAF is all pixelated in 8-bit form. The goriest thing we ever get to see in FNAF is when you die in FNAF 1, you see your eyeballs popping out of the mask of Freddy in the game over screen. That is the most brutal thing you see. There's no, there's not even any blood. You just see your eyes popped out. That's about it. But in this movie, we got to see someone's face get eaten off by a cupcake. We got to see um, a guy's face gets smashed into it well we didn't get to see his face but you know it happened off screen but you know we got to see a girl get chopped in half we got to see um a pov of the spring lock scene we actually got to see the spring lock stab into william afton's body they didn't have to do that and i'm cr i'm actually surprised they got away with that with a once again pg-13 movie the fnaf games are also pg-13 probably because there's just not that much gore in the games and I know the games are slightly more scary than a movie, but like, you know, they I do agree they could have added a little bit more horror to the movie, but in my opinion, it's no reason to call the movie bad. And I've just seen so many little nitpicky complaints of why people are saying this movie is bad. One of the stupidest ones I see is people saying, William Afton said, I always come back too fast. He said, I always come back too fast. That's a reason to hate on a movie. Come on now. Matthew Lubert was an amazing actor in this movie. He could have had more screen time, sure, but for the time he got and for what this movie was, it was amazing. The atmosphere was amazing. They literally built a whole pizzeria with all kinds of um, mysteries in the background, all kinds of Easter eggs everywhere. They just put so much detail in the set like if you were inside this place you would think it's like an actual like Chuck E. Cheese attraction because it looks so real and the fact that they use practical animatronics instead of CGI is amazing people are comparing this movie to Willy's Wonderland which I thought was a terrible movie I did not like Willy's Wonderland at all because it was just a FNAF ripoff but everything about the FNAF movie was just so good because you know I'm a FNAF fan you know I've been a FNAF fan for so long so I loved it obviously and just everything about this movie was good. The sound design. I mean, you know, um, like I said, I guess they could have included more gore. But once again, it's a PG-13 movie. You can't expect too much from it. 
and you know I'm a, I don't really like it when horror movies focus more on the gore than they do the story especially when it comes to FNAF. FNAF has you know a crazy story in the games and a lot of people are saying they failed at making the story in the movie but I thought the story was great you know it makes perfect sense you know it's compared to the games you know William Hampton kills five kids they possess the animatronics and I love how they add the new thing of Mike being just a struggling guy trying to take care of his sister and you know he's just trying to find a job and he ends up landing at Freddy's you know the story's good I don't see why people are complaining about the story it's everything's good about it and um I cannot wait to see the sequel and then the third one but I'm gonna be honest I don't want them to make any more than three movies when you make a movie series especially a horror movie series it needs to be three movies no more no less anytime anyone tries to continue movies after three if they try to make a movie trilogy anytime they try to make any more of that they always end up being terrible except for star wars you know they had things but um like i just i don't want them to make any more than three movies um because you know they can combine multiple games into one movie like um the first movie it had elements of the original um first game um, some from the third game, and I think most of the story was based off the Silver Eyes. Hopefully they don't base the whole story off the Silver Eyes, because I don't want them to do that whole, you know, um, char they, how in the books Charlie was a uh, robot the whole time, and they end up saying that Mike was a robot the whole time. I don't want them to do that. I, I think that would have been a little bit silly. I would not want them to do that. Um, but other than that, I, I will always defend this movie. This movie was beautiful to me. And I just, I freaking loved it. The fan service was amazing. People complain about the fan service, but it was awesome. I find it so funny, though. It's ironic. When the first teaser trailer came out and it showed the animatronics with the red eyes, people just lost their minds. People were complaining about the movie for that sole reason, because the animatronics' eyes were red. And those red um, eyes you saw in that first teaser trailer were in the movie for like five seconds <laughs> and after people realize that the red eyes were only in it for that last scene they had to find other reasons to complain because let's be honest it's hard to impress a FNAF fan it, it's so hard <laughs> um I'm, I mean unless you're like an appreciative fan like me like I appreciate almost anything FNAF except Security Breach and Ruin I did not like uh Security Breach and Ruin I I, I did not like those but the movie I loved, and I do hope they make sequels. Hopefully we get um, a sequel by um, the end of next year. I would really love that, but we probably won't get to see it for a very, very, very long time. Um, but hopefully, however long they take, um, the sequel will be amazing. It'll be worth it, just like this movie was. And um, I really don't know if I have anything else to say, except I will always defend this movie. Um, I just thought it was incredible. That's all I have to say, because, you know, like I said, it's like, it's like the end of an era in my childhood that I never got to complete, so, yeah, I love this movie. Um, I don't care if there's, like, not enough horror, or if there's not enough gore, because, I mean, once again, there was barely any gore in the games. This movie was incredible, and I will always stand by that.